Time the mayor of Broward gave an update on operations in that county. CBS 4's Carrie Codd was there and joins us now live from Plantation. Carrie. Rudabay, several important takeaways here. First, people need to continue to take the necessary precautions to protect themselves and vulnerable populations like the elderly. Second, there is no problem getting supplies into stores in Broward, and people need to stop hoarding items. Third, if people have questions about the coronavirus, they should reach out to a special state hotline or email. Some store shelves in Broward are bare, missing essential items like meat, eggs, and paper products. County leaders say that needs to stop. There's no reason to hoard food and supplies from others when there's ample supply throughout the county. County Mayor Dale Holness and Florida's Lieutenant Governor Jeanette Nunez held a news conference Wednesday at the county's emergency operations center. A video screen nearby showed the latest up-to-the-minute data on coronavirus testing and confirmed cases in the state. Nunez reiterated that the virus is proving most deadly for the elderly. It is incumbent upon all of us to do our part to protect our elderly. So please do not compromise the health of these vulnerable communities. The county says Port Everglades remains open to bring in gasoline to South Florida and other areas around the state. Buses are running and being cleaned regularly. County libraries will close Thursday evening. Also, the National Guard will be at C.B. Smith Park in Pembroke Pines to help run a mobile testing site. We must work to ensure that we're doing everything we can to reduce anxiety, but also to ensure that we have services in place for our people. The screen shows the amount of people who've tested positive and negative for the illness in the state. We asked the lieutenant governor about concerns getting through to the state health department with questions and concerns. There's a lot of confusion as it relates to are you truly a candidate? Um, if you are not symptomatic, if you don't have underlying health conditions, uh, you really should not be concerned at this point. But some people have said they've had difficulty getting through to the state uh, health department with important questions. But you heard the lieutenant governor there say that if folks do have questions, they should call the state's hotline at 1 866 779 6121, or they can email questions to a state website. The email address is covid 19 at flhealth.gov. Live in Plantation, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News. Carrie, thank you. The Florida Department of Health updated its total number of cases in the state. And as you can see on your screen, it has jumped to 328 total. Just yesterday, that number was 216. There are also a total of eight deaths related to the disease. The latest victim is a man in his 70s from Clay County.